Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists, and today we've got a little bit of a costume-themed episode, if you will. And I will! This week we're speaking to five of the top wardrobe people in Hollywood. What you look like is important in a movie or TV show, and these people know all about that. Buckle up, zipper in, and listen in. Hey, I'm Trisha Lish. I'm I'm Trisha Licious, and I um do uh, wardrobe for the Disney Channel. I'm Pamela Soup, and I did most of the leather and plastic work for Star Wars. Oh, I'm um, a huge fan. I love that. I well, love that. I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Um, in many ways, I am a legend. Um, but they didn't ask me to come back for the uh, for the new movies the new films mm. i'm so sorry to hear that well it's it is the way it is you know the the industry it moves and it evolves it's like the pacific ocean in so many ways um and unfortunately i was the garbage but you're big garbage you're a trash island pamela and we love it my name is lizzie tequila and i do all of the wardrobe of everything that shoots in hawaii so I am on, I was on Lost. I do a lot of the Jurassic Parks. I do, you know, if you come to Hawaii, you're working with me. And I love it. I kind of run the wardrobe shops there. And it's just so great to be on the mainland with everybody here. So nice. Uh, I'm Larry. I work in, uh, you might know me. I did all of Downton Abbey. I, um, The Gilded Age most recently is the show I'm on. Um, love that. So I am good. a corset motherfucker. Good to be here. <clears throat> Thomas two-time Marvel. Okay, wait. Can you clarify? Thomas two-time Marvel. I work in Marvel and I do the Marvel. And Started two- Game of Thrones. Switched to Marvel. And you do it two times? I've done it twice. So you're They Larry- call me Thomas two times. Sorry. Because I get on... I do it twice. I pick an outfit. The first one, trash. Throw it away. The second one, that's it. It has to be it. And that's it. Oh, so you're more of the, like, second time's the charm kind of guy. It is the charm. It's always the charm. Do you ever, do you shoot for it to be the second one? Do you pick something that's I've never shot anyone. I've never shot anyone. Just, like, do you, is the goal to go for it the first time, or do you just kind of wash it away? I'm guessing. Every goal is the first time. Perfection take twice. Okay. Thank you. You can you can get your hand off of my wrist. <laughs> Thank you. Listen. So much. <laughs> Thank you. It takes two times. Got it. I love that. I love your Marvel. confidence. We have Marvel. so many dominant personalities here today. This will be <laughs> yes, not one straight man in the bunch. I think. <laughs> yes, Thomas, grab the other wrist. Grab <laughs> No, I would prefer you don't grab the other wrist. He, want, he said you, he wants you, me to grab the other Pamela said she wants me to grab the other wrist. I'll grab the other wrist. I, I, it's my wrist, and I would like the. I would like no. I would like that not. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Well, you've done it. You have both your wrists in my hand. So, um, what's everyone up to? <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's talk about it. it. I, a lot of I know a lot of people. Mm-hmm come up and and ask me what's it like to work in the industry in this specific field how would you explain to somebody who doesn't know what wardrobes is i would say wardrobes is you know it's clothing um a lot of people don't know this that um they think that the actors just like magically have those clothes but they don't you know Mm. they come to us we have like a fitting day and then they come back and then we put the clothes back on them and then they go out and then our little babies they go out into the world and they're ready to act and that's a little thing that people don't always know about wardrobe is that we put the clothes on them it is wild when i meet someone who doesn't understand that yeah and bouncing off of that i think so much of wardrobe is looking at someone's naked body Uh yeah and thinking i could do better than that Mm. Uh-huh. There are ways to improve that. There are ways to hide that away. Mm-hmm. Um, there are ways to protect the public. Yeah. And um, and that's our job. In many ways, we are on the front lines of um, shielding people yeah. from what otherwise would be a shocking amount of nudity. 
Oh, Pamela, yes, I exactly. mean, you got all those weird alien actors playing all those weird freaking parts with those ears. My God. It, I've always wanted to ask, were some of those people in uh, like alien costumes or were those actual? Well, it's, it is a mix. Um, uh, ultimately, they are all people. Oh. Is but this they, a statement about aliens being people too? Well, they, well, well, we find people with cre- um, creative, they're, cre- they're shaped creatively. Oh. We'll, put out a casting call and we'll say, you know, we're looking for someone with two tentacles coming out of the head, true fleshy growths, or we're looking for someone with a um, couple rows of breasts. Wow. Just to make things easier on us going right. forward. And you know, sometimes they think, oh, we're never going to find someone like that. But we always do. And then you know wow. what? We slap them in spandex, we put them on a cruiser, and off wow. they go. Are you talking directly to casting sometimes, Pamela, in terms of what is uh what works for your the 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 uh sculpting of what you're going to create yes it's important to communicate directly with uh, casting because we do have to get a lot of plaster molds wow and sometimes people have to sit under the plaster for hours on end and i'm not going to lie to you we lost a couple actors that way <laughs> oh, oh dear. yes it's happened I, yes. that's so yeah. tough if you don't put the straw in their nose they're a goner and we freak sometimes, you know what? We used a paper straw a couple times. Oh. And that bad boy. Melts. You can't save the earth and save those humans at the same time. Yeah. Open your eyes. Plastic straws are killing people. I know that they're killing turtles, but they're also, paper straws are killing people. That's beautiful. People first. Yes. Yeah, yeah, people first. <laughs> Always. Oh. Uh, what was it like working with George? I hear so many stories. Oh, it was wonderful. George would come into the workshop and he'd say, oh, God. And then he'd walk out. <laughs> it was horrifying for him. It was terrifying. He didn't know what was going on. He'd say, oh, you know, what have you done? But I knew he loved it. You know, I could see in his eyes that he he delighted in um, our creations, in our wild creations that we Did made. Did he ever, like, say that? Did he ever express that? Like, was there ever a time he came into the wardrobe department and expressed an emotion that was not fear? Or was it mostly fear? It was, well, sometimes it was sadness. <laughs> Um, most of the time he was oh, scared, no. but sometimes he'd walk in and he'd shed a single tear and he'd walk out. And we said, you know what? We've done our job because these costumes are emotional. They're sad. Wow. You know, he saw the Tuscan Raider outfit, which we just wrapped gauze. We just wrapped gauze around a man's head. Can I, can I say I watched that with my husband and I saw that Tuscan Raider outfit and I said, that's got to be Pamela Soup. That was it. That's a Pamela Soup original. Wow. They said, we can't have his face out. You know, he's got to look like an alien. I said, Love that. wrap some gauze around him. Slap some buttons on that, on that bitch. And, you know, send him out. Send him out. Film it. Done. We're done. We're t- we taped it. I things love that have, so much. Yeah. Things have moved along, you know, since my time, though. Now we got the, the Marvel. We got the Marvel movies. I mean, I, I can't imagine. It's two different worlds probably between you guys, the differences in, in what you guys are doing with wardrobe. I mean, Tommy... What kind of stuff? I mean, I know a lot of your stuff is green screen, so you're doing a lot of mocap suits, correct? Yes, it's a nightmare. Okay. But no did creativity. you say you've only worked on two films? Uh, no, I've worked on multiple Marvel films and wow. Game of Thrones, but I only costume twice. Hardest thing about mocap, <laughs> putting it on twice. Wait, still it's confusing still to me. Is you bumping. costume no, twice, still and then you, you costume on? twice. But you, so the, does that mean you've done two movies, or you you try on two different outfits? I don't know on how this is confusing. Game it of Thrones makes is a, a huge lot of show. sense to me. Game of Thrones, huge show, so true. How, thank you. Lots of episodes. Thank you. How do you do this? Tons. Thank you so much. I costumed Game of Thrones, the twice. I costumed it twice. I got the so, two part. Like per episode or I'm just wait a minute. You costumed the series Game of Thrones? Like you costumed the the, the credits? I, or, the, yeah. I costumed You dressed in... up the credits in little clothes? <laughs> well you sometimes you have to do that in order to get into character. Like you picked the font? I don't it didn't it wasn't a font pick. I'm not sure what font is. I, what I did was I costumed the entire Game of Thrones twice. I don't know how to make this more clear. <laughs> I'm still not. Is font so some sort of sh- street the whole drug? whole show two times? Because I've only seen it once, and they only made it once. I watched, I, I've watched it twice, yes, if that's the question. No, I've so watched you've it. watched it Okay, wait, twice. so like physically in a day, maybe we could get it this way. Walk me through like what happens yeah. when you go to work. Yes. Physically in a day, one, wake up. Two, two push-ups. Three, two sit-ups. 
for two cups of coffee. This is your personal life. Okay, yeah. can you speed up to call time? Okay, call time. Well, what time is call time? Let's say, well, let's say, let's say 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Very well, late for, call time. Wow, fantastic. Wardrobe. Okay, Incredible. okay. So pick your call time, Tommy. I didn't decide this. Pick my call time. Okay, let's 4 a.m. Your call time is 4 a.m. because early because call time. Jeez. The cast, wow. okay. the cast is coming in. At okay, six. but this isn't a real shoot. Okay, let's say hypothetically your call time is 7 a.m. Okay, my call time is 7 a.m. By 4, I'm up. I'm doing my things in two. Uh, I get to set, I say hello to everyone, make sure my name is good. An actor comes in, I dress them twice, it's over. Are you looking for the word spare? It seems like you're trying to say the word spare. What is can't... spare? Oh, God. What is, I don't know what you guys mean by these words. You I, know what I, mean... I think we do, group? I think we put what we call a pin in it, and we're all good at that, oh. aren't we? <laughs> Let's put We're a really pin in it that. because this I is making me nauseous. Babe, I love that. Larry, I love, I love that. that. Speaking of putting pins in, you probably do a lot of those. The Corset King of uh, of Los Angeles. I'm over the here Corset King to. of Los Angeles, yes. Yeah. So Larry, what is it like working guy. with stuff that's like so old? Oh, I mean, it's a fucking nightmare. My hands are falling off. I have the most wrinkly hands you've ever seen. My husband won't let me touch him anymore. I, I, I can poke and pry all I want with my hands. They are, I work with my hands like my mother did and like her mother did. Um, what did your mother do? Uh, she was a seamstress. Anyway, I work mostly with Cynthia Nixon these days and talk okay. about bare bodies. She's a fox. Did she wear a corset <laughs> and, and just like that? No, in Gilded Age, um, okay. I, uh, they called me on for just like that, and I said I can't dress these gals. <laughs> like That's I not what you do. I wear all black. Okay, I only I I grew up fantasizing about the 1800s. I am an old soul. Larry, so, yeah, are, Pam. Are are you still using whale bones in the corsets? Oh, you better believe it. I ship them from a guy in Los Feliz. He's got these <laughs> whale bones in the back of his garage. And I get them. We put them on the body, and then, boom. What kind I, of whale bone? The the pelvic bone. <laughs> oh, how big? Huge. The whale pelvic. Well, it's broken down, <laughs> obviously. Obviously, course, it, course. It, it, it it's now, Los Feliz. He doesn't have that big of a garage. Now it's, I got yeah. I I gotta wonder what a whale does with a pelvis. <laughs> Oh, uh, we'll it. leave that up to the marine biologist. <laughs> yeah, that's no not for us to know, Pamela. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I mean, how does the how does a whale have babies? It uses his pelvic, right? Sure. None of my business. So, so do you spend a lot of time in the UK? Are you working over there? Because I know they do a lot of period yeah. stuff over there. Yeah, I have a flat over there and over here in Glendale. I go back and forth. My husband lives in uh in London town. Um, Is and, he British? Yeah. yeah, he's a Brit. Yeah, um, I love I'm that. so sorry. I love that for you. Oh, oh Pam, you have a you have a thing against Brits? Well, let's just say, yes. <laughs> wow. I guess let's we'll put a pin that. in it. We'll put a pin <laughs> in that. I'm dying to know, Trisha Licious. I mean, oh I my could. Gosh. I, I I don't know how you kids work these days. The what layering. are you? What are you? Eighteen? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I am 19, and oh my thank God. you so much. Um, I am I just... ancient. I am ancient. Oh, my God, literally stop, babe. You look no, like 16. I'm bones. You look I'm like bones. you could be my little sister. No, I couldn't. You guys I all couldn't. look like you could be my little sisters. Like, I look like I could be your little sister. No, you look like <laughs> something else. You look like my grandpa. But um, Thank you. Yeah, so I started at Disney Channel, um, and uh, the layering is a, a problem, as you mentioned. It's, I mean, it's the signature, it's the brand, we got to do it. Vest over shirt, over another shirt, over jacket, over leggings, over skirt. And that's sort of the formula. But it is causing a lot of the actors to overheat. So we do have a lot of body doubles for a lot of the actors. We just sort of like swap them out on an every 30 minutes basis so that they don't get heat stroke um so it was tough to learn at first but once you get into it it like totally makes sense with the switching schedule but it is hectic for us body doubles are hard for wardrobe too because you have to get so many costumes so of many the same thing so it's like you sometimes you find one shirt but you can only find one and you can't find the second one and you're like well then i can't use it and that's so frustrating yeah 
Actors love to complain, too. They love to complain. My God, dude. Oh, my yes. goodness. What is it's... the worst actor complaint you guys have heard? Oh, let me get my chapter book. <laughs> oh, God, for me, it's help, help. The ATAT is crushing me. <laughs> oh. What a terrible complaint. Uh, you know, Pam, mine sound very similar. Mine are always help, help. The, pel the whale pelvic bone hurts. Help, help. It's the same shit, different actor. It's the same yeah. thing. Same day, different whale. Huh? Uh -huh. Same different day, different oh, Absolutely. Whale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine is, um, it's, uh, help, help, my vest is too tight. That was Chris Pratt. It was so annoying. Always. That's so Always. him. Nothing ever a, fits yeah. right for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No one can really nail him down. I, I get a lot of, um, from the, uh, like middle-aged actresses on Disney Channel going, help, help, I'm so fucking frumpy. I'm so fucking frumpy. You've dressed <laughs> me like a frump. You've dressed me like a frump. What am Ugh. I going to do? They have oh like full-on breakdowns. Something about being a mom on the Disney Channel, it like sends people into tailspins. Yeah. Lizzie Tequila, I don't know what shows you work on. What shows you working on? Oh, I just do anything that comes in Hawaii, I'm on it. So, you know, anything. So there's so no we, genre. It's just that you Just are literally, like, we're a production house in Hawaii, and I'm just doing what that. you need. I, ah. Lost, I will say Jurassic World, uh, a lot of the big movies. We did the um, American Idol uh, Hawaii vacation episode oh, recently. Oh, yes. That I love horrible. that episode. Oh so you'll Katie, wardrobe reality TV and Katy script. Perry is, is nearly two-dimensional. She's so... F you don't see it. She's so flat on the back. Her back is so flat. It's you don't see it on TV. It's crazy. Mm. The the secrets that we know. <laughs> Are you so sure that wasn't like that? a cardboard cutout of Katy Perry? No, I believe it was her. She was so flat and you wouldn't believe it when the when the rain came cuz we get a lot of rain in Hawaii. Crumpled to a crisp. Truly. That sounds like a cardboard cutout. Lizzie I don't tequila. know. I don't know. I just dress what they tell me to. So <laughs> it looks like her, and I love her, by the way. She's so nice. Such Was she a good nice? listener. Was she so kind? nice. Oh, my God. I talked to her for hours. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> Did she ever say anything back or was it just kind of? Well, you don't want to push the talent. You know, what I like to do is I like to talk at the talent because that doesn't give them the pressure to have to respond. Was she trying on the clothes or were you helping her try on I the clothes? I was helping her, but you know, you know how that is. I'm sure you guys have had actors that have said, uh, I won't, you know, well, first of all, nothing. Second of all, actors that have said, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I won't be, you know, I put Don't this on me. Don't you hate that? This is Don't your you job. hate it when you're trying, to, you're trying to get clothes on them and they go limp? I hate that. Worst. <laughs> oh, my God. You know who does that? Kira Knightley. And I go, fruit snacks for Miss Knightley, please. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to put dance. on a button down on the mom from Wizards of Waverly Place, and she just started shrieking. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, so so I've been in Hawaii just doing whatever I can. I used to really kind of hit the grind out here in Los Angeles, uh, but I fell in love and ended up moving to Hawaii. Then I fell out of love, and I stayed in Hawaii, and I fell in love with Hawaii. So, but I was working on a lot of different things here in LA. Um, I was working on um, uh, uh, just basically different things at the Radford lot. So, um, a lot of <laughs> shows so, over so there. So, you did work at on Jurassic Park, huh? You did work on Jurassic Park? Uh, World. Jurassic World. Jurassic um, World. Yeah, did yeah, yeah. Not Jurassic Park. So, I didn't get to work with uh, Steven. I guess I was. Uh, was Steven around at all? I know him and George are friends. I need a last name. I don't. Uh, Spielberg. Oh, God. Yes. Uh, <laughs> he, was he was around. He the, would come around. The dinosaurs. Yeah. They weren't. They weren't in anything. Was that your call, or was that the yeah. studio's the call? The dino, the dinosaurs were special effects, and um, and, and so we call we call them dinosaurs because because they're not real dinosaurs. Don't so, patronize me. No, it's true. <laughs> we call them dinosaurs because the fake. This, the take the s out. F for fake. We throw oh, it in the like middle. Oh, is it like dinosaur? Oh, Dinofos, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, okay. of course. So, okay. so the well, yeah, Indominus Rex, fake. I don't know. I don't want to blow. You know, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this stuff. This is computer stuff, though. Uh, Raptors, fake. The big C thing, fake. And but, so, and I was wrecked because I wanted to make those. To be oh, honest. they still. And I had. I had a they, lot of people. I heard Bryce Dallas Howard was also a dinosaur. She was. Di Bryce Dallas Howard is 100% fake. Yeah. <laughs> She was created in a lab. Has a anyone lab. done um, wardrobe or wardrobe research work for animated films? Because they asked me to work on Ratatouille, and I said absolutely not. 
Oh, you've my got to God. take those jobs. You've got to take those jobs. <laughs> Why, Why, Thomas? Why? Thomas? <laughs> I'm telling you, you've got to take those jobs. Why? Me- Why? <laughs> Why? I'm tell. What's not making sense? You have to take Why? those jobs. But we all get. We're all working a lot. Why do we need to take those jobs? Picture this: you show up and you're dressing something that doesn't isn't there it's like marvel when you go into a marvel set you don't know who you're dressing and who you're imagining that day you've got to take those jobs do i do fittings with them it's fantastic you're taking you're basically sitting with a computer scientist for upwards of 80 to 120 hours a week slowly designing a piece of cloth for an animal or a young girl i had a uh a quick chance to work twice on Encanto, and I'm sorry, work twice on what? In Encanto. Okay. Well, how did you work twice on that animated film? So I worked twice on it, meaning I went twice and worked like on it. Two twice. day rates. You did two days. No, what day okay. rate? I'm Wait. just trying to get down to the but two. What happens Was it when two you hours? Work? <laughs> so I go in there and we are dressing everybody twice just to make sure that they, you know, all the characters are covered. So they and this have is two a kids... looks. Are you talking about how you work in a lot of movies where people have two looks? Like they have a backup. What? Okay, what is a look and what's a backup? I'm not sure. You guys are using all this slang and I don't appreciate it. Basically, I went into Encanto and I'm dressing these this madrigal family for upwards of you know 200 hours a week you've got to take this job they they, that's easy money that sounds like a better deal because those families actually wore clothes but when i worked on cars too it was a nightmare i drove i drew so many or i consulted on so many outfits little outfits for the car little overalls for larry the cable guy's car to wear and it just didn't happen they just ended up cutting it because i will say when i went in for encanto they showed me some of your drawings for cars and i gotta say when you put uh the main truck guy in a little tutu i thought it was genius Mater, you put Mater in long socks and a dress and jeans and a jacket and a vest and a hoodie and then a collared shirt. And I thought this truck is going to catch on fire. It looks amazing. I absolutely agree. And you put the you put the the lady lawyer car in a beautiful <laughs> lady her. look. You put her Love in a, her. a beautiful A line dress yes. with How? a little a little peekaboo slit, a little peekaboo slit on the side. I'm so and, honored that you guys have seen my unreleased work on Cars 2. <laughs> this is like fantastic. Yeah, it was going I was around. In, I, it was, I was it in was London girl. at the time. I was in London at the time, and I got. Oh my a, god! I, I guess got, my reps were mail. sending my stuff out. I had it no was, idea. Well, no, it was going around. It was going around the uh, Wardrobers Uncensored Facebook group. That yeah. was big, and I. That's where I've love seen all that of group. you. Oh, love that oh group. Oh my god! Love I torn had to down the middle on vaccines because it was so much. <laughs> Down the middle on vaccines? Yes, very, very <laughs> torn on vaccines, that group. I lost some friends in those debates. Yeah. I, I'm really grateful that you guys are talking to me. Mm. No, uh, those oh. guys at Station 11, none of, that wardrobe department is unvaccinated. Those yeah. guys can suck my ass. I hate <laughs> everyone over at Station 11. I hated them, and honestly, all their clothes look like they found them in a in a in the L.A. River. Like their I clothes look like shit. Everyone on Last Man Standing with Tim Allen, completely unvaccinated wardrobe department. Nobody's yeah. vaccinated. Yeah. How do they get onto the lot? They have their own thing. <laughs> <laughs> their I heard Tim engine. Allen like sends security to just like freak people I, out. I heard they Tim? dug under the fence and they go in and they go around because that's at Radford because so I know a lot of a lot of my friends and a lot of my girlfriends are still over at Radford and so I remember that they told me that there's a there's a tunnel there's a Shawshank style tunnel for all the unvaccinated to get onto that lot. I so think, you know that they're unvaccinated because they're covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're being a little judgmental. I think we are. I think Pamela, it's nothing. I'm, for, I'm sorry I forgot you're vehemently anti-vax. I, I, I hate them. I hate. I don't like the idea of being poked or pricked. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. And I, 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 I wouldn't mind a lot of that as a wardrobe. Being covered in shit. I wouldn't mind it. I think it would be nice. I think it would be refreshing. <laughs> oh, you dirty girl. You dirty girl. That's right. I'm filthy. I'm disgusting. I'm an animal. <laughs> I'm a goddamn hog. Oh, God. I, Pamela look, Soup, we just care I about your that. health. That's it. You know what? Thanks. I'm healthy as a horse. I'm like, you know, Tim Allen, Tim Allen, he didn't take the vaccine. He didn't need to because he wakes up in the morning and he does a bump. 
Yeah. And uh, speaking of bump, let's go around. What drugs does everybody do? Oh. I have a little bit of Molly in every egg yolk I have in the mornings. Oh. I have an egg yolk, and I and my husband puts a little bit of Molly in there. Uh, Does he inject wait. it like into the yolk part? In, like into the <laughs> yolk, into the yolk, and I'm straight to set. And then you just you throw the white away. You don't eat yeah. the white. Just no, the yolk. egg whites are so fattening. <laughs> <laughs> Yolk is, well, the yolk is the, the, the clean part. part. No, it, it's America has it turned upside down over there. So you think the the clear part, the clear part is the non-fattening part, and yeah. the thick, rich, milk-like yellow part. Yeah, that's okay. It's like when you order a burger and you take out the middle and you eat the bread. Who does that? You take out the middle and you eat the bread. Yes, and you have it like toast. You go to a burger place and you ask for a burger. So you pay like $18 at Kitchen 24 and then you take out the bun or just the buns and you just eat the buns? Yeah, I take out the unhealthy part, the greasy part, and I have the bread, the grain. Well, drug-wise, I like to go skiing on the Hawaiian Alps, if you know what I mean. It's cocaine. <laughs> love I love that. that. Do you do I that will when say you work, I or? definitely noticed a little bit of cocaine influence on Hawaii Five O. The way oh, I love she... you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, thank I, you I for noticing I will say, that. my daughter, we don't speak a lot anymore, but we loved Hawaii Five O. We that, loved your work That on show it. is so fun. Scott Kahn, by the way, a prankster, he used to uh, uh, take all my clothes off and throw them into the ocean. Um, a little more than a prank, I think. He said, he said, it. Uh, Bucking measure my shoulders. He would say, You don't you can't get my shoulders for shit. What are you doing? Would you think I'm wearing football pads? That's the, he's so funny and I love him. And nice. um Did you he's guys great. Know? Everyone's fun. Jimmy Buffett did an episode of Hawaii Five O as Frank Bama, a really fun pilot, and he was fun and we had a lot of fun. And Did you guys wrestle at all or No, we didn't do any wrestling. Did you wrestle on Star Trek or Wars? Star Wars? No, I was always too frail. But I love to watch. Oh, how um, frail is So fun. there was wrestling, I... but you <laughs> avoided it. There was always, every day there was wrestling. Those, the fellows love to wrestle. And I'd watch from a distance and I'd say, look, at, I'd admire the form. And I. <laughs> so who I'd was wrestling? Was it like grips or was yeah, it was like it interdepartment, like actors wrestling <laughs> 80s well, it, or what it, was it? It was, it was, it was tournament style. It was tournament style. Um, and I think my favorite pairing was George Lucas and one of the the fella who um, the fella who fit inside of R two D two. They really got There's into it. There's a man it. in there. There's a little fella in oh, there, and they, they wrestle each other. He's who a... won? Let me guess, George. Well, you would think that, wow. but um, someone left a starburst on the floor, and he tripped. <laughs> wow, I love that. Carrie Fisher, did she ever get in the wrestling? She was a boss. I loved her. Oh, yeah. Everyone was terrified of Carrie. Terrified, scared to, scared to pieces to wrestle with Carrie. Yeah, I believe. She, she always wow. had a little knife somewhere. <laughs> Damn, really? that's Carrie. like not wrestling at that point. At that, at that point, point, it's that's not. that's stabbing. Every time, you know, if she started to lose even a little bit, she'd whip it out and say, ah, take that son of a bitch. And she... <laughs> oh, God. She'd... Swing wow. the knife around. People got knives in their hands. They're slipping on Starburst. What a crazy set. It was a crazy <laughs> set. It was insane. You know, they, they don't do movies now they like they used like to they do. Used to. Pamela, totally are you working now. on anything currently? That's a great question. And I absolutely am. <laughs> great. Okay. I love that. Um, I'm working on, um, uh, what's, what's the movie that's coming out soon? Fast and Furious. Wow. Oh. Wow. And it's kind of a big journey for me. It was a big step. You know? Yeah, that's a Very big like, different step makeup outside in. of Aliens. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and that's such a fascinating working in the 70s on Star Wars. And then the next thing we know you did is the newest Fast and the Furious. What was going on in between? How did you make that transition? How did you get there? Oh, I, um, well, I raised a child. And oh, resume gap. That up. Yeah, it's a big old resume gap. Yeah. And you for know how long did you raise for fifty years? Or well, I got the child when they were sixteen, and okay. then raised them for another. Yeah, sixty years. I think. How long was it between 16? movies? 
the child's oh yeah because okay so 1970 you adopted a 16 year old exactly then you raised that 16 year old for about 50 <laughs> more years that's right it's exactly and how's right he doing he's doing great he's a grandfather <laughs> when did he's you decide you were done raising him and why did that happen oh i was done i was done when he turned 18 i kicked him out of the house um okay. So that doesn't fill the resume gap. Oh, <laughs> shit. Um, uh, did you take what a else gap year after your... <laughs> yeah, I wanted, to tra- I wanted to travel. That's why I hate... What was it? I hate London. That's why you I hate, hate London. Brits. Oh, yeah, London. I hate Brits. Yeah. Because um, I go there and they're all s- screaming at me with their halitosis. And I'm like, what's... <laughs> what a shitty town. What a shitty place to live. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> It is you a know, lot of screaming halitosis. I a lot heard. of screaming. They're all throwing throwing beans at each other. And mm. Yeah, I can only alcoholics. go there for so long. Yeah, I can only be there for so long. And small but doses, am, that place. Yeah, small doses. Same same with America as well. Small well, doses. That's, for everything. that's why I'm over in Hawaii. It's just so much nicer over there. I mean, you guys got to come over. I'm over on Kauai, so you got to come check it out. I'm so okay. love it. And how old are you, Lizzie Tequila? I am 53. No, you're not. Old. Yeah, I'm oh. 53. Oh, my God, babes, no. I what? Know what, <laughs> what do you mean, no? I mean, no, that's impossible. You don't look a day over 15. Thank you. That's that Hawaiian sun and <laughs> cocaine and mostly lotion. You're dripping head to toe in Urban Outfitters. I thought there's yes. no way she's over 20. You're well, literally I... flashing a fake ID all the time, just like kind of. To, like you know when you're you're trying to show that you have a fake ID and it's like kind of cool and you sort of like let yeah. it leave it out so that people yeah. see. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, you know, this is a young person's game and we all know that. I think Pamela, I think you can agree with me. It's it's kind of hard to be older in this it industry. It is it's a young person. Yeah. So, I I just kind of am using my knowledge to look as young as possible and it is a fight, it is a constant fight and it is hard and I actually hate it. But you have to do that because otherwise people are going to say, oh, can you dress, you know, do the the new exotic Marigold Hotel? And I don't want to dress old people. I want to dress young people. I don't want to dress fun people. Mm. Okay, what I, is your, like, what's everyone's, like, wardrobe pet peeves? Like ugh. When, when people get ketchup on the shirts. Mm, I hate Number condiments. One. The amount Number of condiments one. that ruined games, Game of Thrones. Awful. Awful. Mm. But I didn't break my rule only twice. Only what do you twice. mean? What do you mean? So if somebody gets a condiment on their <laughs> shirt, do they get a third look? Absolutely not. That breaks the rule. I'm Tommy so you... two time. Thomas two time. I, How I is just... this not clear? <laughs> I've made myself extremely clear. Everybody has a method and an approach. I don't sit here confused or giggling, huffing about your methods. You have you a know beautiful what? I'm just accent. remembering. Thank you. That... Do you know where I'm from? Oh, Austria? Austria? No, close. Uh, do you want us to guess? Close. Okay, a close to you want us to guess? Or... Close. You're impossible to communicate. <laughs> Germany. I don't know how you get anything done. Amsterdam. Switzerland. Close. Paris. Hungary. Close. Um, Croatia. Close. Um, Belarus. Belarus. Turag. Close. Monaco. Close. Monaco. Boca Raton. I'm from Santiago, Chile. <laughs> None of we, those were close. We were not close. We weren't, we weren't close. close at all. I was raised in an expat country, babes. in oh. Santiago, Chile. My biggest pet peeve is when it's lunch is called and... These mother effers oh, God. go to lunch in my gowns. I am a strict bib or I'll, sometimes I buy scrubs to put on top of them um, because I have I, I just can't have chicken teriyaki on my gown that I found um, to play early 1600. I can't. You know it. what? On the Star Wars set, we had all of the actors stick their heads through a feeder like cattle. <laughs> That sounds like that really sounds efficient, like actually. And they, yeah, nice. and they all stuck their little heads through, and we tossed some corn in there, and they, and they ate it up. 
Oh, I can't have wow. corn. It's too unhealthy. Junk food. Trisha, what's your what's your pet peeve? I'm curious. Uh, well, my pet peeve is when you know when you put so many layers of clothing on a person that the layers of clothes sort of form their own identity and then start <laughs> controlling the person's mind. Uh, every single time. Yes. Don't we hate that? <laughs> yes. Don't that we is hate so that? So frustrating. That and happened to me all- on The Descendants. Yeah. <laughs> All these kids just start saying things that they normally wouldn't have. Like, they're, mm. they'll just suddenly be like, I will take you to hell. And then it's like, ugh, the vest is talking to the freaking, like, it's the vest shirt combo talking. It's not them. Like, I just have to look at them and be like, it's not them. Yeah. I have to look past this. Mm. You don't have any control over this. This is what, this is the layers talking. Well, there's Aww. some gossip I was hearing. Do you know Jessica Chastain, her Oscar that she won? Yeah. Yeah. Her outfit w- took the award away. Her, she didn't show up. Her outfit no was on way. stage. Yeah, the, the 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 sentient version of her outfit was the one that accepted the award. So is she like hiding it from Jessica? That's so yeah, sad. If you, if you look closely, you can see it's a pile of clothes. <laughs> go back. Go back and watch the Oscars. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go scrub. Yeah. To that moment. See, I don't work with anyone who's got stain in their name. I mean, oh, good. That's a good way to weed them out. That's good. Sick the hell are you thinking yeah yeah we're playing with fire okay i won't go near her unless she comes near me in hawaii i'll tell you that much (laughs) best best fitting where best look you've ever put on an actor wait 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 before we do that oh yeah my pet peeve is buckles (laughs) okay go ahead thanks pamela thanks pamela of course (laughs) i think i read that about you i'm sorry i skipped over you yeah you did that whole buzzfeed article about buckles Oh, yeah. yeah that's I something did. you did. You worked for BuzzFeed. How long did you do that? <laughs> right. <laughs> I, loved, I loved your which horrible buckle are you quiz. <laughs> I took that and I got the buckle you hate, which I don't know which buckle you hate, Can but I, I assume say, it's a bad one. I just, I walked into that office because I thought it was a public library. <laughs> <laughs> and I sat down at the first computer I saw and I started typing, you know, just like journaling. <laughs> and first thing I did was I opened it. I said, I hate buckles so damn much. I hate buckles. And then I was putting together a list of all the buckles I hate, ranking them. Pilgrim buckles, buckles on shoes, belt buckles, rodeo buckles. And I guess it got published. <laughs> yeah, some BuzzFeed editor probably walked by and was like, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, they I came the by. article was hilarious. Oh, yeah, they get, they walked by me. They said, what is this woman doing here? And then they looked at the computer. They said, my God, <laughs> she's a genius. It was your goodwill hunting moment. It was it. It was my goodwill hunting moment. Okay, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Do you ever want to go back to BuzzFeed or writing or anything? I do because they had, um, they had a lot of free food. Oh. And they had... That- little pods you could go in so what i do is i grab a pack of famous amos cookies and i go in one of those little um sensory deprivation pods and i just listen to myself chewing on them for a few hours you love the but finer things in life Pamela. i truly do listen to me digress uh, larry oh yeah i want to know what everyone's favorite look they've ever put on an actor mm. Mm. That's t- oh, I remember. I remember. It was such an amazing day. It was the finale of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh, and God. they let me put a single shirt on Cody. Nothing else. Nothing under it. Just a shirt. Just a simple T-shirt. No razzmatazz or under button up or over button up, just a shirt. And he walked onto set and he did the scene. And nobody said, hey, you made a mistake. They just let it happen. Wow. 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 Now, was this a long shirt? Oh, it was the most normal shirt you could imagine. (laughs) So utterly normal oh trisha licious you just seem so locked up in a cage i wish <laughs> you could work on a show where you wouldn't have to have such strict guidelines it's all i know 
it's all I know, but I would kill to be in some sort of Netflix YA show where they just wear one shirt. Oh, Ah. It would be the most amazing thing in the world. Ah. We're gonna get what? you on like Outer Banks. Outer Banks yeah. would be the perfect show for you. I know. Yeah, I know the like people Orchard. that are watching. Coco Melon. I know. What did you say? What did you say? Coco yeah, Melon. You've got to take those gigs. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Coco Melon is worth the gig. I don't even know if you're talking about a TV show or a delicious flavor at this point. I don't know what's happening. I don't happening. know, but I but I do know you want two of them anyway. Oh, hey Trisha, have you ever considered naked and afraid? I could <laughs> oh put in a good word. Oh my god! Oh you my know god! Them. I would kill. Would kill I to be love on that show. when they design a simple bandana on a wrist. Oh. My breath oh, yeah. taken away. Oh. When they just when they just they smeared a little bit of mud. To protect him from the the sun, yeah. Um, I think that's one of my favorites. Oh um, yeah, the sun, the lights, the lights. Oh, I'd have to say my favorite work I've ever done. Not to pat myself on the back too hard. Um, in Pride and Prejudice, Kira Knightley, two thousand five. I we were doing dark colors for her, and this was the first time in my career we got to really talk about a full arc with color. Um, by the end, as she opens her heart up to love, uh, we put her in a pearl pink. And when I got the studio's approval of pearl pink, um, of this dark character at the end of the film who finally opens her heart up to wear a bright color, I came home to my husband and we had sex for 56 hours. It was the greatest. Wow. Greatest Whoa. accomplishment in my life. Bazinga. Uh, bazinga babuya. Wow, Larry. Six hours. That's love so that, much Larry. time. Yeah. And I, I love that an accomplishment for you is actually having sex with your husband and not, you know, I, of course, being proud of that. But I think to me, it sounds to me like you're more proud of your sex life than you are of your wardrobe. No, I'm proud of the way that getting a career goal or just nailing something turned into such a sexual desire. And my Mm. husband and I, we have trouble speaking anyway because it's been what? We've been married 56 years. Yeah. Mm. And uh, 56 years, 56 hours. You went one (laughs) for every every... year you've been together. Yeah. Oh, that's two two of the same, Thomas. Yeah, we set two, two of the same. We set a timer. Two. We said, how long have we been together? 56, let's do it. I got to say, um, my favorite thing I ever did, I was the head bathing suit scout for Blue Crush, and I had so much fun for, with that. <laughs> no, I you scouted. scouted. Ba- you scouted? <laughs> looking for them? I was the scout. That one was very funny because the director said, I, the... I want to cast these bathing suits. The bathing suits are so important in this. I, the bathing suits are a character. And and so I said, okay. So I had to go out. I had to go on the beaches. I'd say, oh, excuse me. I love that. You know, I love that bathing suit. Where is it from? And then they'd have to tell me. And I'd, I'd offer. I'd offer. I, I bought one bathing suit off of this girl from Tennessee. She was in Hawaii. I bought it for $45,000. Because we had to have it, and that went on Kate Bosworth, and that was the one that she wore when she fell off her surfboard in that one scene. You know how she <laughs> fell off in that one scene? Yes. That's what happened in that, and that was iconic. And everyone's still talking about it. People stop me on the street, and they, go, they look at me, and they go, excuse me, are you the wardrobe person from Blue Crush? How would I they know that's you? How, how would they, they know, know that's you? It hap- it's happened, actually. It actually has happened, and people no, do No, I think you're talking to cardboard cutouts, and I think you're an idiot. I don't think no one's recognized you for this. Okay, harsh. Sorry. Harsh. Sorry, I it's I getting didn't call past my bedtime. You having sex for 56 hours, old man. I, didn't, I was nice about that, wasn't I? It's true. I have a healthy body. I eat only bread. No, I... you eat raw egg with Molly. That's the... <laughs> I'll I don't want to fight a nineteen-year-old guys. This is feeling like um, this is feeling like the Facebook group November two thousand sixteen. Okay, <laughs> I don't want to you know, go through this again. I believe you, Lizzie. Thank you, thank I you, believe, Pam. I believe that they're real. They're thin people. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they're a myth. I think they're real. The thin people and... are out there, and they are famous. A lot of them are, so you have to watch out. I'm proud of you for standing your ground. Pamela, thank you. We have to catch up again. We need to FaceTime. Last time I tried to FaceTime you, you didn't know how to pick up the phone. Would you be interested in joining 
joining a club of patriotic, like-minded individuals. Uh. <laughs> oh no, why is it patriotic? <laughs> oh no, that word. What Everything is, what else sounded know? so good. <laughs> Makes you a little ick. It gives me a little ickiness to hear that. Okay. You might be on the fence, but we can talk later. I'll send you some literature. Oh, thanks, Pamela. <laughs> Thank of you so course. much. Definitely send it my way. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Thomas, 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 what was Thomas, your... What's... Oh, don't wink at me, please. Oh. <laughs> please don't I'm wink sorry. at me. Oh, no, course. it's okay. I just I don't have a thing about that. Please don't wink at me, Pamela. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay. Please okay. don't. I wow, that was like not... the loudest blink I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, I that was like... Don't do that, Pamela. My Thank eyelids so are heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make the thud. That's the smokiest eye I've ever seen. And I oh. made the smoke monster on Lost. <laughs> Thomas, two times, what were you going <laughs> to say? But your most happy moment was finding the bathing suits for Blue Crush. Love the values. My, uh, <laughs> I was going to ask Pamela what her favorite moment was dressing. Oh, yes, that's a good one. Yes. Um, when I first explained Yoda to the team. Wow. They didn't understand it. And I said, my goodness, it's not hard. You know, this is, this is my vision. And so I was so in, it was in the heat of the moment. I grabbed the first toddler I saw. No. I, I grabbed him I, and I grabbed some celery and I chopped the celery in half, super glued it to the sides of his head. And I put him in a potato sack and I brought him up there and I said this. This is what I mean when I say, this is Yoda. This is the Jedi. And the kid was crying. The kid was screaming, ah, get the celery off my head. Get the celery off my head. The potato sack itches. And I said, shh, you're going to be a, you're going to be a big star. Um, and what and happened they, to the kid after that? Oh, none of my business. <laughs> but what did you, you just kind of set you, him loose? I did you split, put him down? Did you take off the salary? No, I didn't euthanize the kid. Are you kidding me? No. I'm a monster. <laughs> I, what, I, what happened was, I look, I didn't know what his parents were. I turned him around. I said, thank you for your service. Put, I pushed him out of the room. And I finished my meeting. Because I'm a professional. What, am I going to watch him? And that's how Yoda was, it was, he was created. Because they didn't understand the concept art. Because sometimes I have trouble commu- when when I my drawings, um, they lack color. Yeah, and that's um, what be- you need for wardrobe. You need and color. something, and it's something I've struggled with because I am colorblind, um, and it's something no. I've struggled with. Oh, wow. Yes, yes, I this am. This explains Fast and Furious. They're all wearing blacks and grays. Yes, um, because sometimes they're moving too fast. I can't. <laughs> I, I can't hate when register. you have to do a fitting and the actors in the car. I oh, it's it. terrible. Get out. Get out, it's, Ludacris. Let me let me try it, the stand, outfit on while you're yeah, standing. Gotta, we you know you're sitting. You've got to try stretching spandex over the rocks, the topography of his body while he's... <laughs> the topography zoom. of the rock. <laughs> the topography. He got a lot... The rock has a lot of hills, a lot of hills and valleys, a lot of yeah. peaks and mountains, yeah, a lot of ravines. And so trying to find some, trying to squeeze that on him while he's going... 105 down the highways unbelievable it's so hard they really should separate the fittings and the shooting i can't believe they had to be in the car for that you know neither can i and they didn't even give me a seat belt <laughs> probably because you hate buckles so much it's i mean and that buzzfeed article went viral that's exactly why he said they said you sure you don't want this i said i said take it out of the car <laughs> <laughs> i said remove this from the car immediately or you will never see me again i've never seen someone to hate an a object power move so for sure especially for yeah. somebody's first movie back pamela <laughs> why do you hate buckles is there something that happened to you with a buckle or is it just like an irrational fear like is there something we can work through um well let's get into it <laughs> oh i'm sorry no, it's okay. My father was a rodeo clown. He loved his work. Him and my mama. My mama <laughs> was um my mama was a rodeo clown too. And they get in there and they run away from the bulls, you know, trying to protect the cowboys. That's their job. And they were really good at it. Oh my god, they're so good. The crowds would cheer. Ah yeah. Hell yeah. 
right on. You know, that's... And so they'd run around, and at the end of every show, they'd get a new belt buckle. One of the cowboys would give it to him, say, thank you for saving my life, because that bull was chasing me, and the way you distracted the bull so I could get out, and the cowboys would give him the buckle. And they'd come home, and they'd show me, and I had five... I had five brothers and sisters, and they'd come home, and they'd five show us each? the buckle. Yeah, it's just ten total. <laughs> they'd come home, and they'd show us the buckle, and they'd say, look at us. We saved a life. What did you do today? You know, what did you do? You probably sat at home eating <laughs> Oh, they were food. abusive, emotionally abusive. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I, long story short, they were emotionally They're abusive. They're just kind of rude. <laughs> I could have gotten there a lot quicker, but I was putting it together. It's you know, been a what long a journey. time. No, I'm so sorry that that happened to you growing up. That's so sad. No, you don't care. I don't care. No, I do no, care. I hate care. that. It's, stop. I'm not, I'm nothing. I'm... Pamela Babes, you're so brave. Mm-hmm. You're so brave, and thank you for sharing that with us. I'm going to write that down. Would you like to come brave? work with me? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Thomas, who's the favorite? Who's your favorite costume you ever did? My most proud was actually not a costume at all. It was the lack of one. I was the one who came up with the characters disappearing for Marvel's Infinity War. I had costumed them twice, and I wouldn't do it again. So we Hold had on. them disappear. <laughs> you came up with them disappearing, and it was a costume choice? It was a costume choice. So when they disappear in the show, do you, was it some sort of veil that you threw over them that became reflective and made them look like no. they were disappearing? That would be a third costume. I said, get these people offset or disappear, or make them disappear visually effectualized. Because I will not be costuming these people again. You sound, and no disrespect, you sound a little hard to work with. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a joy on set. I show well, up on time. I pay my dues. Yeah, that sounds like a joy. It sounds <laughs> joyous. <laughs> All the things I describe a, a fun person to be. Mm-hmm. Pay dues that, and showing up on time. Pay dues and yes. showing up. <laughs> Oh, I love a good party when everyone's showing up on time and paying their dues. Hey, everyone. What's your favorite place to get materials? <laughs> oh, I love this question. Great question. I get this question a lot. This is a little industry secret. People might not know about this place, but if you know, you know. Joanne's Fabrics. Um, it's this exclusively Hollywood sort of store that like a lot of uh, professional like wardrobe people and like fashion designers and people all go to um, and you sort of like, you know, they give you the rundown because they know that you're like a professional, you're on the go. I'm sorry, you said Joanne Fabrics? Yeah, Joanne's Fabrics. And they don't just have um, like fabrics. They also have like themed um, sort of like holiday themed things. So if you need to pick up like a sort of like like a turkey yeah. cup or a St. Patrick's Day mug or yeah. something. Like they have a lot of that oh. for industry folks too. I do need to pick up a turkey cup. There's a Hawaii episode of Grownish that's taking place around Thanksgiving and I need to find a turkey cup. Yeah, I'll help you make that's a appointment really at awesome. Joanne's. <laughs> and they're using it. It's a it's a hat for Yara Shahidi, so it's, it is a costume. Yeah, I can hook you up. My Thanks. favorite place, uh I love to go to the San Diego Aquarium. Um and I'll get some bo- some fish bones to make my uh, my bodies instead of my guy. Is this when your guy in Los Feliz is busy? Yeah, when he's busy, um, he also sells drugs. So when he's busy, <laughs> I'll, I'll run swamped over. swamped all the time. <laughs> and so, he's busy. Now, how do you get the bones? Do you dig through the dumpster or do you... Do you steal them from the living I, fish? I have an intern at the San Diego Aquarium oh. that is uh, getting the remains once they're directly removed from the premises. That okay. sounds like a very temporary contact. How long are they going to be an intern? <laughs> <laughs> no, these aquarium interns, it's kind of like med school. They work oh, for years. Okay. Like and a years residency. And years. Yes, it's like a residency. <laughs> Actually, my That's sister great. just finished her residency at SeaWorld. And they oh. have been there for five years. Yeah. Wow. Oh, That's God. amazing. Congrats to them. Thank you. <laughs> where, did they get, where did she get placed? <laughs> yeah, now she's um, one of those people who um, just shows, like, the dolphin. Like, not one of the dolphin trainers, but the one who's like, 
and now here's the Sea World Dolphin. Like you know, one of those yeah. people. That's She's her specialty. Still at sea World. That's her specialty. <laughs> She that's her thing. Yeah. They put that's her on the nice. dolphin explaining track and she succeeded. Oh, she was just that. like such a natural fit. They had yeah. her on um Shamu like Blackfish PR cover up type stuff, but she mm-hmm. wasn't a good fit for that. So they shipped That's in. a hard job. Wow. Um yeah. I mostly shop, you know, cuz I'm in Hawaii. I'm actually shockingly enough, a lot of people that shoot in Hawaii want to the characters are usually visiting in Hawaii or they're tourists. So I actually buy a lot of stuff from Tour shops, souvenir shops, uh, a lot of stuff that is, you know, basically more expensive. So I'm spending, you know, $150, $300 on a Tommy Bahama shirt uh, that, you know, I wish that I could sell it back. You know, I wish that I could make the money back. And I, I take, I leave the tags on everything. You guys leave tags on everything? Do you guys I have a tag on? remover. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, you got we, the tags yeah. on these fish bones are so big. You return fish bones after. Tagged. <laughs> no, it's just the tags. I always remove the tags because if you don't, the ink explodes before you get out of the store. <laughs> so. Oh, I'm not referring to those tags. I, I'm just referring. I'm not referring to the theft tags. What kind of I'm tags. Re- tag, like, oh, just tags. the little paper price tags. Oh, there's yeah, no yeah, price yeah. tags on fish bones. Just the theft tags. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we cleared this you're up. Taking them. Yeah. Uh, that would be awful if they got if I got ink on a shirt that I wanted to use in a show. Yeah, Larry, you do have to remove the chip that's in every fish that has the fish's name and yeah, it's personal. Okay. No, I got it. It's a whole thing, and this intern works good. Oh, I love it. Oh god, my favorite place. Well, I love leather. I love it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go to a feedlot. And I'll select a cow, like a lobster. Oh, my God. And I'll say, Mama, I want that one. Mm. And they'll pull it out for me, and they'll skin it right there. Or sometimes I'll go to Folsom, the homosexual festival in San Francisco. (laughs) Wow. And I'll just pick up whatever's left behind. I love that. So <laughs> as as people march and party, you just like are picking up the scraps. Yeah. yeah. Scraps. A lot this of, is just to kind of have in your warehouse in case you need it. This is to have because you'd be, uh, chaps are very versatile um, yeah. once they're torn apart and converted into something else. Um, and I That's... think they're beautiful. Darth Vader's entire costume was made for, from scraps from Folsom. <laughs> I did not know that. That's it's... so interesting. Wow. I can't believe that. Now that Darth is the Vader. funnest fact here. So I guess you could say Darth Vader's an ally. <laughs> well, yes, I suppose you could say that. Yes. Would you say that, Pamela? No. But <laughs> everyone's got Oh, no, gotta... this is just like the debate we had in that Facebook group in 2018. <laughs> it's exactly. But you know what? Everyone's got a different opinion, and that's the beauty of this country. Um, I, I so, can't believe you go to Folsom every year knowing the opinions you have. Oh, I I wear horse blinders. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you got to keep yourself safe. I wear right. horse blinders. I love horse blinders. <laughs> and I'll try to look at the ground as much as possible. I don't want to see any Willies or Johnsons or Peters. And so... <laughs> And then, you know, I'll just kind of pick up whatever's left behind. Like, the um, what was her name? Ruth from the Bible. Picks up, she picked up wheat that was left behind in the field. Okay, I'm not familiar with Ruth. <laughs> oh, well, that's what I think his name is, Ruth. Basically, what happened was Ruth, um, they let her pick up the leftover wheat in the field because she didn't have any food. Oh, I um, love the Bible one. That's exactly. such a beautiful story. You know what? If you do have any of that literature, um, I'm hooked. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love this. Will you post the link to this Bible book on the yeah. Facebook group? Oh, unfortunately, the government took the website down. But um, oh. I'll let you know the next time we meet up, we usually have um, we get together and we will march in front of the Capitol sometimes. Oh, and... oh on, on what day? What what generally what part day the, would you yeah, march? Part of the year. Yeah. Uh, usually, uh, usually uh, uh, January sixth, and oh, um, oh okay. and also okay. sometimes Martin Luther King Jr. Day. But that's um, 
neither babe. here nor there. Oh, babe. Okay, I take it back. I don't know if I want to come. You, oh, no. no. Pamela, you are a legend, but Trisha, I'm so glad you changed your mind. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, the Bible stuff sounded really nice. Oh, forget you should, what I everyone said. should check out the Bible. I do believe that. I mean, there's so much okay. stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> Just pick it up. I think there's an audiobook. I think Gary Sinise does an audiobook. Check it out. Okay. I'll try and find one. All right, everybody. Before we end here, I'm dying to know what's everyone working on next? What's next on the docket? Well, The Voice is coming to Hawaii, and <laughs> I can't wait to hang out with all of those people. I um, have met Blake Shelton, and let's just say, if you thought Katy Perry was flat, Blake Shelton is even more so. <laughs> so is he a piece of computer paper, do you think? He showed up in my office. He was hanging out uh, by- How did he show uh, up? The in the fax machine? <laughs> <laughs> he showed up. He showed up. There was a big noise and poof. There he is in my office. Oh, my God. Was the noise the doorbell where they delivered the yeah, mail? Was it the, was it the doorbell? No, it was like a v- <laughs> boom. There he is, and I was like, "Hello!" <laughs> I, my favorite song in the world is "Some Beach" by Blake Shelton because um, I, I I listen to it all the time when I'm in Hanalei Bay in Hawaii. And it's just so nice. So I don't I'm think you have to explain why your favorite song is "Some Beach" by Blake Shelton. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Tommy. Should yeah, I explain exactly. it twice for you? Jesus. Actually, nice. that would be great. <laughs> I would really appreciate that. What are you working on, Mr. Serious? Well, they wanted me for Sing 3, but I said no. But you just we told got to take those jobs. jobs. I did Sing 1. I did Sing 2. <laughs> Oh, so it's not oh, a thing about the be... job. It's just because it's okay. the third. We'll never know what you mean oh, by okay. the two. <laughs> we'll I've never been figure it out. Obvious. I've been explaining it this entire time. I don't know how it was missed. It I sounds don't... so simple, but it makes my head hurt. <laughs> I do it twice. I costume two times. It's in my last name. So basically going into a little bit of a lull. Until the next Shang Chi movie. Oh, very fun. Yes, they brought me Tommy two times to do Shang Chi. <laughs> you did pretty good. Thank you, Larry. Who are you uh, uh, tying in coming up? Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'll do it. Uh, Olivia Rodrigo's in a new uh, 16th century uh, show. Uh, she's a star about horseback riding. Um, and I'm doing all of the gowns. That's that I'll, show called Breaking Up in the 1600s, right? Yes, it's a musical. I'm um, a huge a, fan of her. Huge fan. Been following Olivia for a long time. Excited to see what I, happens. I find that so quirky of you, Thomas. <laughs> Trisha, did you ever work with Olivia over at Disney? Um, yeah. Uh, well, I worked with her until the clothes sort of took over her body. <laughs> Um, and then it sort of became a different thing. But that does lead me to what I'm doing next, which is actually super exciting because one of the pile of layered clothes that gained sentience um, is actually super interested in film noir. So that pile of clothes is directing a new film noir movie and um, I'm going to costume it. And it's not going to be Disney Channel. It's going to be um, super different for me. And um, let's just say that this pile of clothes thinks about things a little differently. <laughs> Congrats, girly. Yeah, I can imagine that pile of clothes has a huge opinion on the costumes. Yeah, and he's so smart. He's like read everything. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, be careful because that is a pile of clothes. <laughs> but I'm in love. Trisha. I'm in love. I can't help it. Are you uh, fucking Trisha. the pile of clothes? Oh. No, I'm just in love. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Pamela, what Pamela, do you got what next? Are you up to? Well, I'm in a little bit of a rut until the next Fast and Furious. <laughs> so, right now I'm making prom dresses. For, th- for fun? Nope, for the young ladies of Omaha. <laughs> Is that an organization? Is that an organization or just the young ladies? It's it's not an organization. It's a description. <laughs> it's, it's just a bunch of young girls in Omaha. It's well, just like, a, like a group, a category. It's just 
some young ladies in Omaha. I'm making them prom dresses, and um, and I'm dressing, I'm dressing the corn queen, Mr. Nick's pageant. Congrats! Oh, that's it's, huge. Are you going to use scraps from festivals or? Yeah, yeah. It's I well, I still have got a lot. I got a lot of chaps in storage. <laughs> Oh, so these are leather prom dresses. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of ch- I got a lot of chaps and jock straps in the freezer, so I'll thaw those out. Those girls are gonna love that. Yeah, <laughs> they're gonna look out. beautiful. When they walk into their prom in Omaha in a leather dress made out of yeah, that they, will they, break they, the internet. That the will girls, break the internet. They love spaghetti straps, and luckily I have all the chains. <laughs> This has been a wild ride. I have to say, I never talk to other wardrobe people, and I'm just so grateful to be here. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys. And you have to come to Hawaii. Seriously, you guys can stay with me. I have a nice little house. Uh, it has its own bedroom, and you guys can stay in it any time. That's great. Um, could we stop this and do it one more time for me? Oh my God! This has been artist on artist on artist on artist answering the question. Now that's why they call it showbiz. We'll see you next time.